Hello and welcome to Replacement Player Baseball. Today, the Cubs are facing off with Game 2 of the Arizona Diamondbacks in, out of this three-game series. The Cubs won Game 1 in extra innings, a 3-2 contest where the Cubs came back in the bottom of the 12th inning. And now today, Aaron Nola is going to be on the mound for the Cubs. He is making start number 22 with a 9-5 record. He has a 4-13 ERA and a 120 whip. The Cubs lineup today is going to be altered slightly. And it is going to include Mike Tauschman, who will be out in left field for today's game. And it will also include Buster Posey, who will be giving Miguel Amaya a day off. Now, for the Cubs lineup, we are going to see Horner, Correa, Rizzo, Harper, Bryant, Springer, Posey, the pitcher Nola batting 8th, and Tauschman batting ninth. Joe Green will be on the dot mound for the Diamondbacks. He's making start number 21 with a 7-8 and eight record. He has a 442 ERA and a 146 whip. The Diamondbacks lineup will be Thomas, Smith, Marte, Beer, Kelly, Calhoun, Urena, Ahmed, and Green batting ninth. It is 68 degrees, kind of a cool day for July, and the wind swirling right to left at 9 MPH for today's ballgame. So now with Aaron Noll on the mound and Alec Thomas stepping up to the plate, we are ready to get today's game underway as the sounds of the Star Spangled Banner fade off into the distance. We see Noll on the mound squaring off against Thomas to lead off this ball game. Here comes the pitch. There's a grounder towards second. The throw goes over to first. That'll be four to three for the first out of the inning. Smith now the batter, one out, nobody on. Kevin Smith waiting for the three and one pitch. There's a grounder towards second. Horner has it again. The throw to first, and they wash, rinse, and repeat for out number two. Marte the batter with two outs and nobody on. Nola working. One strike is the count. And a pop-up. Deep center field going back is Springer. He's going to be on the warning track, making the catch to end the inning. Certainly gave that one a ride, but it was the deepest part of the ballpark, and the Diamondbacks go down in order. We have a scoreless ball game going to the bottom of the first inning. Nico Horner now leading off for the Cubs. 340 batting average and 10 home runs on the season. Here's a 1-2 and two count, and the pitch to Horner. And Horner drives it to right center field. This is going to be medium depth. The center fielder has it, and he makes the play for out number one. Correa now the batter. One out, nobody on. Green working with a one and two count. And Correa pops it up to short center field. Coming in is the center fielder, Thomas, and he makes the catch for out number two. So now Rizzo comes up to the plate with two outs and nobody on. Two and two is the count. Here's the pitch. Rizzo swings and misses to end the inning. So the Cubs do not score. They are retired in order. We go to the top of the second of a scoreless ball game. And now Seth Beer is going to step up to the plate to lead off the Diamondbacks half of the second. Full count. Payoff pitch. Here comes from Nola. Liner past the first baseman into right field. That is the first base hit of this ball game. Seth Beer has a single to lead off the top of the second inning. And now Carson Kelly is the batter. With a runner on first and nobody out. One ball is the count. Here comes the pitch. A grounder up the middle. Pitcher has it. He throws to second. There's no relay to first, however, as Beer managed to break up the double play. And now on the fielder's choice, there is one out and a runner on first. Calhoun now the batter. Top of the second inning. Here comes the pitch from Nolo. And a drive to deep right center field. I believe that one is going to be out of the ballpark. Cole Calhoun with a two-run home run in the second inning, giving the Diamondbacks a 2-0 lead. 428 feet. There was no doubt about it. So the Diamondbacks jump out to the early lead as Urena now comes up to the plate. One out and nobody on. Full count pitch to Urena. Here it comes. 
and a drive to right, that's going to be a more of a line drive off the wall. Urena's going to have extra bases. Another hard hit ball to almost the exact same spot, just a little bit shallower. And so the one out double puts Urena in scoring position in the top of the second inning. Ahmed now in the back. Nola working with a 2 2 count. Here comes the pitch. And there's a pop up on the infield. Coming in his corner, he calls off Rizzo and makes the catch for out number two. So, the pitcher Green comes up to the plate now. He is three for 27 on the season with three RBIs. Nola working with a one and two count. Here is the pitch to Green. And a swing and a miss to end the inning. So Nola gives up the home run, which breaks the tie. We go to the bottom of the second with the Diamondbacks up by two. Bryce Harper leading off for the Cubs in the bottom of the second inning. Two strikes is the count. And Harper strikes out looking. That's the first out of the inning. A big curveball there as it dropped into the zone for the first out. And now Chris Bryant, the batter. One out, nobody on. Bryant waiting for a one and two pitch. Green with the delivery. And a swing and a miss for strike three. Bryant goes down swinging. That was a fastball down and Bryant waves at it for the second out of the inning. Now George Springer is the batter with two outs and nobody on. Green working, here comes the first pitch and Springer grounds it toward third. Picked up and thrown across the diamond to end the inning. So the Cubs go down in order, we go to the top of the third of a two nothing Arizona lead. Thomas now leading off against Nola in the top of the third inning. Two and one is the count, Nola delivers. Liner past the third baseman in the left field. That's going to be a leadoff single. Alec Thomas stops at first with a base hit. And that'll bring up Pavin Smith. With a runner on first and nobody out, we're going to pay some extra special attention to this runner over on first. The throw to first it is not in time. We'll pitch to the batter and see what happens. That is outside for ball one. It wasn't a pitch out, but it certainly looked like it. Fastball high and away. Go over to first again. Runner dives back safely. Pitching to the batter with a one ball count. That one is ball too low apparently. So Nola misses with the curve ball. And now Smith waiting for the 2-0 pitch. Here it comes. That is a check swing for ball three. So they're saying Smith held up. 3-0 count now. And we'll try to throw over to first again. Pick off, though. He's safe. All right. Pitching to Smith with a three-ball count. Here it comes. Swing and a miss. Strike one. So he had the green light at 3-0. And now Smith facing Nola with a three-and-one count. Here comes the next pitch. And a swing and a miss for strike two. He chased ball four right there. That one was down and away. Nola now fighting his way back to a full count. The runner's still on first, top of the third inning. Here comes the payoff pitch, and a swing and a miss. Nola fights his way back, and with a fastball at 94, he gets the punch out for the first out of the inning. Marte now the batter with one out, one man on. You're going to pitch out on the very first pitch here. Let's see what happens. And the runner, oh, he was going. But he hesitated and he got back to first. Interesting. All right. Well, we did time that accurately. However, there's now a one ball count. We're gonna throw him to first. No problem getting back. All right. Pitch to the batter, one ball count. There's a check swing. That's a curve ball for strike one. And now, Nola working to Marte with a one and one count. Throw over to first again, see if we can catch it. Nope, not in time. All right. Pitch to the batter, one one count. Popped up, short left field, going out is Correa. He's gonna make the catch, that is out number two. So now with two outs and one man on, Seth Beer is the next batter. He hit a, he got a base hit his first time up. And then he scored on the home run later in the inning. So Nola facing Beer now with two outs and one man on. There is a curveball for ball one. He checked his swing and held up. All right, go over to first. Keep him close and safe. All right. Pitch to the batter with one ball count. There's a swing and a miss for strike one. That was a changeup, and Beer was way out in front of him. Somehow the changeup is even slower than the curveball, apparently, from Nola. So with a one and one count, here comes the next pitch. 
Swing and a miss for strike two. Nola, get him with the curveball there. So now, with a one and two count, two outs, bottom, or top of the third inning. Nola trying to retire Beer and end the inning. Here it comes. Strike three. Oh, no. Ball two. Inside. He must have just barely missed. Man, that looked good. So Nola now pitching to Beer with a 2-2 count. Here it comes. There is up and in for ball three. So a full count now. The runner is going to be going. Let's see what the conclusion to this at-bat is. Low and away for ball four. So Beer draws the walk. And now with two outs and two men on, Carson Kelly is the next batter. He's 0 for 1 today. He's facing Nola in a 2-0 ball game in the top of the third inning. Here comes the first pitch to Carson Kelly. And there's a grounder up the middle. Charging his Horner. He has it. The throw over to first. And it's in time. Man, Carson Kelly is probably the only guy they could have thrown out on that play. We go now to the bottom of the third. The Diamondbacks strand two. They do not score. It is still a 2-0 game in favor of Arizona. Buster Posey leading off against Green here in the bottom of the third inning. One ball is the count. Here's the pitch to Posey, and he grounds it up the middle. Shortstop has it. The throw over to first for out number one. Nola now the batter with one out and nobody on. Two and one is the count. Here's the pitch to Nola. There's a liner past the first baseman into right field. Aaron Nola with the base hit with one out in the Bottom of the third inning. That is the Cubs' first base hit of this ballgame. And now Mike Tauschman is the batter. One out, one man on. Green facing Tauschman with a three and one count. Low and in for ball four. So the walk is issued. The Cubs now have a, a rally going here. With one out in the third inning. Two man on. Nico Horner is the next batter for the Cubs. He is 0 for 1 today. Green facing Horner. Here comes the one and two pitch. And Horner grounds it toward third. Picked up, thrown to second. No relay to first, however. So the inning stays alive as Tauschman breaks up the double play at second base. And now Correa is the batter, the hero of yesterday's game. Correa comes up to the plate with the tying run on base and two outs in the bottom of the third inning. Green facing Correa. Here's a 1-1 pitch. And Correa pops it up to short right field. Going out as the second baseman. He is going to have it to end the inning. So the Cubs strand two. They do not score. We go now to the top of the fourth of a 2-0 ball game. Nola facing Calhoun to lead off the top of the fourth inning. Calhoun with the home run all the way back in the second inning. A full count pitch from Nola. Here it comes. Grounded back toward the mound. Nola picks it. He throws over to first. And that is going to be a leadoff infield hit for Calhoun. How in the world did he beat that out? Nola must have had a hard time getting it out of his glove. I'm not sure. So Calhoun now is standing on first with nobody out in the top of the fourth inning. Urena is the next batter. Two and two is the count. Here comes the pitch. Urena swings and misses for strike three. So Nola notches the strikeout. That is number three in the game for him. And now Nick Ahmed is the batter with one out and one man on. We're going to throw over the first just to make sure Calhoun isn't going anywhere. Nola pitching to Ahmed. And there's a liner past the first baseman into right field. Harper has it. He gets it back into the infield. The throw goes to third, and the throw is not in time. Man, Harper with a heads-up play trying to get the runner advancing to third. The throw was just a fraction of a second late. So the Diamondbacks now have second and third with one out, and the pitcher Green is the batter in the top of the fourth inning. Nola working with a one and two count. And there's a swing and a miss for strike three. That was a sinker. Tough pitch for anybody, but impossible for a pitcher to get contact on that one. So now Alec Thomas is the batter with two outs and two men on in the top of the fourth inning. Nola facing Thomas, trying to get out of this inning. Here comes the three and one pitch outside for ball four. So the walk is issued. The bases are now loaded. That does set up the force at any base. Nola now facing Pavin Smith with two outs and the bases loaded in the top of the fourth inning. Nola working. Here comes the 2-2 count and the pitch. Strike three. Strike three called right at the knees. So Nola gets out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the fourth with the Arizona Diamondbacks still up by two. Rizzo facing Green here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Cubs down by two. 
looking to try to rally here in the fourth inning. Here's a 1-1 count and the pitch to Rizzo. And he pops it up to left. Should be a routine, the left fielder going over, and he makes the play for out number one. Bryce Harper now the batter, one out and nobody on. Green working with a one ball count. Here's the pitch to Harper, and he lines that one over the first baseman's head into right field. That is going to be a one out single for Bryce Harper. So now with a runner on base, the pitcher working from the stretch, and Chris Bryant is the next batter. One out and one man on. Bryant 0 for 1 today. Here comes the one and two count and the pitch to Bryant, and he swings and misses for strike three. So that is out number two. Bryant chasing a fastball down right there, which brings up George Springer. Two outs and one man on. Green facing Springer with a two ball count. Here's the pitch. Grounded up the middle, shortstop has it. He flips to second to retire the lead runner on a force and end the inning. So the Cubs do not score, they strand one. We go to the top of the fifth of a two nothing ball game. Nola is at 84 pitches and he is going to have to navigate the middle of the Diamondback lineup in the top of the fifth inning. Cubs are down by two, Nola working. One and one is the count. Here is the pitch to Marte. And a grounder towards second. Horner has it. He throws to first for out number one. Beer now the batter with one out, nobody on. Nola working with a one and two count. Here's the pitch. Strike Check swing for strike three. That is out number two. And now Carson Kelly the batter. With two outs and nobody on. Kelly facing Nola. One and two is the count. Nola delivering the pitch and a pop-up to short center field. Coming in as Springer, he looks up and he makes the play to end the inning. So the Diamondbacks retired in order. We go to the bottom of the fifth of a two nothing ball game. So we are going to see some activity here in the Cub bullpen. Nola is due up second. So he is gonna get pinch hit for. And the Diamondbacks lineup is going to be sending, let's see, here, the six, seven, eight, nine guys. So we're going to get Scooball warmed up to hopefully pitch multiple innings of relief. Green facing Posey here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Posey leading off for the Cubs. The Cubs are down by two. Here's a 2-2 two -two count and the pitch. There's a grounder towards second. The second baseman picks it up, throws the first for out number one. So now we're going to get a pinch hitter for Nola, which is going to be, let's see here, it's going to be Danny Santana. Santana is going to pinch hit for the pitcher's spot, and Nola's day is over. Right now he would stand to lose this game potentially. Santana facing Green, batting from the left side, with one out in the bottom of the fifth inning. Green working with a one ball count. Here comes the pitch to Santana. And he grounds it up the middle. The second baseman has it. The throw over to first for out number two. Tauschman now the batter with two outs and nobody on. Bottom of the fifth inning. Green facing Tauschman. One ball is the count. Here comes the pitch. And Tauschman grounds it towards short. The throw over to first and the inning is over. So the Cubs go down in order. We go to the top of the sixth of a 2 nothing ball game. And Scooball will now be brought into the ball game. He will remain in the number eight spot. And he will be facing Cole Calhoun to lead off for the Diamondbacks in the top of the sixth inning. Scooball comes into this game with a four and four record, 71 and two thirds innings thrown, 24 walks, 88 strikeouts, and 289 ERA. Scooball working with a one and two count. Here is the pitch to Calhoun. And a swing and a miss for strike three. That's out number one. The fastball at 96 right there brings up Urena now. One out, nobody on. One and two is the count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. That was a slider down. And Urena could not hold off. So Nick Ahmed now is the batter. Two outs and nobody on base. Scooball working with a two strike count. And a pop up to short right field. Harper coming in fast. On the run, he makes the catch, which ends the inning. So Scooball works a perfect sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth of a 2-0 Diamondback lead. Corner facing Green, bottom of the sixth inning. Green has been very efficient, only sitting at 63 pitches so far in this ballgame. He's facing Horner with a one-ball count. 
Here's the bottom of the sixth inning, and Horner grounds it up the middle. Second baseman has it. There's no throw over to first, however, as Horner is safe as he beats out an infield single to lead off the sixth inning. That'll bring up Carlos Correa. Runner on first, nobody out. Green facing Correa in the top bottom of the sixth inning. Comes down by two. Here comes the first pitch to Correa. And a liner into center field. That is going to be a diving play. Oh, no, it gets out of his glove. It squirts out of the glove. And Horner, is that an error? Yes. All right, so that's an error in center field. Horner advances all the way to third. Correa credited with a two-base error, standing on second. That error is charged to Alec Thomas out in center field. So now the Cubs have second and third with nobody out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Green facing Anthony Rizzo with a chance to tie up this ball game. Here's a one and two count and the pitch to Rizzo. And a drive deep to right field. This is gonna be in the ballpark, but it should drive in a run. The catch is made just in front of the warning track and the runner advances tagging up from third, making this a two to one ball game. So Horner scores the Cubs first run of this ball game. Correa holds it second. And Rizzo is credited with the RBI sacrifice fly. That is his 65th RBI of the season. Bryce Harper now the batter with one out and the tying run in scoring position. Green facing Harper here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Here comes the one and two count and the pitch to Harper. And he drives that one deep to right field. That one is gonna leave the ball apart. Bryce Harper takes a two strike fastball and drives it out onto the street behind right field. 392 feet, that gives the Cubs a 3-2 lead in the bottom of the sixth inning. And the Cubs doing an excellent job of capitalizing on the Diamondback error here in the sixth inning, scoring three times. That was a 392 foot home run off the bat of Bryce Harper, number 13 for him on the season. Chris Bryant now the batter with one out, nobody on. Green facing Bryant with the Cubs a newly minted lead here in the bottom of the sixth inning. Three and one is the count to Bryant. Here comes the pitch. And Bryant drives that one down the left field line. That's gonna be extra bases. Goes all the way down into the left field corner. Bryant rounding first, heading for second. The left fielder taking seemingly years to get this ball. Bryant is gonna motor around a third and that'll be a triple for Chris Bryant here in the bottom of the sixth inning. So the Cubs now have a runner on third with one out, and George Springer is the batter. Bottom of the sixth, Springer facing green. We are going to go ahead and warm up a different reliever. It's actually going to be Joe Jimenez. Oh, well, you know what? No, we're not going to warm up Jimenez. We're actually going to warm up Blake Taylor if we have to pinch hit. But, you know, Scooball actually is a better option than Blake Taylor. And the lefties are what's coming up in the lineup now. I may as well just, we've already got the lead. I may as well let Scooball hit for himself, even if he comes up with bait runners on base and have him pitch in the top of the seventh inning. So Springer now facing Green with one out and one man on. Here comes the pick. Oh, and they're gonna intentionally walk Springer. All right, so now Buster Posey is the batter. With runners on the corners and one out, Buster Posey is facing Green here in the bottom of the sixth inning. And Posey really needs to get a base hit here. Give the Cubs some insurance runs. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. And Posey drives it into center field. That's gonna drop in for a base hit. Bryant scores from third. Springer rounding second. He's gonna advance all the way to third. And the Cubs now have a 4-2 lead here in the bottom of the sixth inning. So now, Scooball is the batter, and he is going to be asked to do a squeeze bunt. And we're going to see if we can bring Springer home from third, because it's not a force out at home, so they have to make a tag play. Let's see what happens. Scooball is actually, uh, he's an average bunter. So we're gonna try this and see what happens. Here comes the bunt play. The bunt is laid down, it's down the first baseline. The pitcher has it, the throw comes home, and Springer is, what's the call? 
he is safe. So the run scores. Scooball bunts home the run on the suicide squeeze, and the Cubs now have a 5-2 lead in the bottom of the sixth inning. And now Hunter Strickland is coming out of the Diamondbacks' bullpen. He has thrown 16 and two-thirds inning, walked two, struck out 19 with a 162 ERA. He's going to face Mike Tauschman here in the bottom of the sixth inning with one out, runners on first and second. Tauschman facing Strickland with a one ball count. And there's a pop-up on the infield. The catcher drops it in foul territory. So Tauschman lives to see another pitch. Wow. That's the second error of this inning for the Diamondbacks. Strickland now facing Tauschman with a full count. Here comes the next pitch. That is a grounder towards second. The throw goes to short, but no relay to first as Tauschman beats it down the line to make sure there is no double play turn. So now with two outs and runners on the corner, Nico Horner is the next batter for the Cubs. We're in the bottom of the sixth inning. Five runs have already scored. Two runners are on base. The Cubs are up by three. Strickland working with a two and one count to Horner. And he drives that one down the right field line. That's gonna drive in two more runs. Horner rounding first, heading for second. The right fielder seems to lose the ball down in the corner. The Cubs score two more times as Nico Horner gets an RBI triple. And the Cubs now have a 7-2 lead. Oh no, it, what happened? Horner, oh, Horner was thrown out trying to advance to third. He was trying to stretch that to third when he thought the throw was going home. Let me just double check this. But I'm pretty sure if I look at this, if I can actually find what I'm looking for, we're going to go to the box score and the game log. And we're going to, going to double check. So, all right, Nico Horner, double, Posey scores, Tauschman scores, runner from third tries for home safe, throw to right field to the trailing runner out at third, 9-3-5. Yes, so the trailing runner was Horner trying to stretch that double out into a triple. So the Cubs score seven times. I believe every single one of those runs was unearned based on the two errors in that inning. So now we go to the top of the seventh inning and the Cubs are up by five. And we're going to see Adrian Sanchez batting for the the Diamondbacks here in the top of the seventh inning. Scooball's still on the mound. He's facing Sanchez with a one and two count. Here comes the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Scooball continues to moan down. That's strikeout number three of this appearance. And now Alec Thomas is the batter. With one out, nobody on. Two and two is the count. Scooball delivers. And that is strike three looking right at the knees. A fastball at 99. And now Pavin Smith comes up with two outs and nobody on. Scooball working with a 1-1 one, one count. Here comes the pitch. Lined into center field. That'll drop in for a base hit. So there's a runner on first now with two outs in the top of the seventh inning. Pavin Smith, credited with the single, brings up Kettle Marte. Two outs, one man on. Scooball working with a 1-1 one one count. And that the throw goes down to first. And they pick him off at first base. Nice play by Buster Posey. Alert play to throw down to first and catch the runner leading. So the inning is over. We go to the bottom of the seventh. It's a 7-2 ball game. And for today's seventh inning stretch, we have Moises Alou leading. Take me out to the ball game. Carlos Correa now facing Hunter Strickland in the bottom of the seventh inning. We are going to warm up a different, well, so we are going to have to use at least one other reliever because I don't think that Scooball, he's thrown 29 pitches. I don't really think he's going to throw four innings of relief today. Recognizing that, we are going to warm up Gabe Moya to come out of the bullpen in the next half inning. Strickland facing Correa here in the bottom of the seventh. The Cubs are up by five. Here comes the full count and the pitch to Correa. And he pops it up down the first baseline. Chasing actually is the second baseman he calls for and it makes the play for out number one. 
Rizzo now the batter, one out, nobody on. Rizzo waiting for the three and one pitch. Strickland with the delivery. That is high for ball four. So Rizzo draws the walk. That's his 43rd of the season. It brings up Bryce Harper. Harper hit a home run his last time up. He is two for three today. He's facing Strickland with a full count. One out, one man on. And there's a pop-up center field, short and playable. The center fielder coming in and Thomas puts this one away for out number two. So Chris Bryant now the batter. He is one for three with a triple today. He comes up with two outs and the runner on first. Strickland working with a one and two count. And a liner down the left field line. Oh, into left field, excuse me. That's another base hit for Chris Bryant. Rizzo stopping at second. And now a new reliever comes out of the Diamondback bullpen. This is Joel Piams. He has thrown 40 innings, struck out, or excuse me, walked 16, struck out 40 with a 270 ERA. Piams is going to face Springer with two outs, two men on in the bottom of the seventh inning. Here comes the one and two pitch. Springer standing in, waiting for the delivery. And a swing and a miss to end the inning. So the Cubs go down. They do not score. Stranding two will go to the top of the eighth of a 7 2 ball game. And now we are actually going to see a switch as Gabe Moya is going to come into this ball game. And he is going to, how are we going to do this? Oh, I know exactly what we're going to do. We're going to put Moya in the number five spot to pitch. And then Thyro Estrada is going to come into the number eight spot and play third base. So Moya comes in. He has thrown 40 innings, walked 16, struck out 38 with a 4.50 ERA. He is facing Kevel Marte here in the top of the eighth inning with the Cubs up by five. Here's the one strike count. Moya looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. Liner into center field, that's a leadoff single. Marte with a wide turn stopping at first and that'll put a runner on base for the Diamondbacks here in the top of the eighth inning. Seth Beard on the batter. Runner on first, nobody out. Moya working with a one and two count. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. That was a fastball in, and Beer could not catch up with it. So Kelly now the back. One out, one man on. Moya working. Let's have a throw over to first and check on that runner. He's safe. So now Moya pitching to Kelly with a one strike count. Here it comes. Grounder toward first. Rizzo has it. He throws to second. The relay back to first is late. They try to turn the 3 6 3 double play, but that throw back to first was just a hair too slow so the Cubs now have two outs runner on first and Cole Calhoun is the next batter top of the eighth inning Cubs up by five Moyo working with a one and two count and there's a swing and a miss to end the inning so the Cubs do not allow the Diamondback to score one runner is stranded we go now to the bottom of the eighth of a 7-2 ball game Hyams continuing to pitch for the Diamondbacks, facing Buster Posey here in the bottom of the eighth inning. Here comes a 2-2 count and the pitch to Posey. Strike Swing three. and a miss for strike three. Posey gets the strikeout, and that is going to bring up Thyro Estrada, who came in on the double switch last half inning. One out, nobody on. Hyams working, facing Estrada. Here comes the first pitch. He pops it up to short left field. Going out is the shortstop. He calls off the left fielder to make the play for out number two. And now Tauschman is the batter with two outs, nobody on. Piams facing Tauschman with one ball count. Here comes the pitch. And a grounder toward the mound. The pitcher has it. He throws to first and the inning is over. So the Cubs go down in order. We go to the top of the ninth of a 7-2 Chicago lead. Moya now trying to close this thing out. Going to face Urena, Piams, and Sanchez here in the top of the ninth inning. I assume we're going to see a pinch hitter for the pitcher spot. Here comes the two-strike count, and Moya delivers. There's a swing and a miss for strike three. That was a changeup outside, and Urena strikes out swinging. So now we have Dalton Varsho coming up to the plate. He is pinch hitting for the pitcher spot. He has six home runs, 23 RBIs, and a 269 batting average on the season. One and one is the count. Moya delivering the pitch. Driven into right center field. That is going to be high off the wall. Man, 
That was hit very hard. It got out there in a really big hurry. Harper cutting it off, getting it back into the infield. That's going to be a triple off the bat of Dalton Varsho with one out here in the top of the ninth inning. And now Sanchez is the batter. And we are going to go ahead and warm up Joe Jimenez in the event that we need somebody to get us out of this inning. So, Moya facing Sanchez here in the top of the ninth with one out and one man on. Actually, you know what would even make more sense than that is Blake Taylor. We're going to warm them both up. So, Moya facing Sanchez, one out, runner on third, Cubs up by five. Here comes the one and two pitch. Liner into right field. Harper playing it on the hop. That's going to be an RBI single. This is now a seven to three ball game in the top of the ninth inning. Moya could not convert on the two strike count. And now Alec Thomas is the batter. We're going to visit the mound, give him a chance to keep warming up. He says, I'm strong enough to finish this inning. Well, maybe, I mean, maybe. Moya now facing Thomas with one out, one man on, one run already in, top of the ninth. Here's the one and one count. And the pitch, a liner into center field, that's gonna be another base hit. Springer pays it on the hop, he gets it into the cutoff man as the runner stops at second. So now there's first and second with one out at the top of the ninth inning and Pavin Smith is the next batter. And everybody's ready in the bullpen. So Blake Taylor is gonna be brought in to face Pavin Smith with one out and two men on in the top of the ninth inning. And we're also going to warm up Diaz in the event that things would really get out of hand. So Taylor now facing Smith in the top of the ninth. One out, two men on. Taylor, coming out of the Cubs bullpen, has thrown 40 innings, walked 19, struck out 43 with a 360 ERA. Here's the one ball count. Taylor Smith looking for the sign and delivering the pitch. And a liner past the first baseman into right field. Harper again getting it back quickly into the infield. He throws home. The runners hold. So now the bases are loaded and Arizona is sending the tying run up to the plate here in the top of the ninth inning. With one out. And is Marte a better hitter from the right side or the left side? That is the million dollar question, isn't it? Or is there even a significant difference? So if we look at his ratings, we see that he has better gap against left-handed pitchers. He actually struggles more against righties, but he avoids strikeouts against righties. I mean, it's kind of a trade-off. Some of these are higher, some of these are higher. We're just gonna go ahead and leave Blake Taylor We have Jimenez ready. And Marte is up here. If we turn him around to the left side, because if we look at his splits, so this season, he has half of his home run. No, not even half. He's hitting below his season average with fewer home runs against right-handed batters. So, the right-handed pitching. So we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna leave Taylor out there to face Marte. With the bases loaded and one out. And, I mean, Jimenez, gosh. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and bring in Jimenez. We're gonna turn Marte around to the other side because I just think the improvement to bring in Jimenez is actually pretty significant. So Joe Jimenez coming in out of the bullpen. He has thrown 36 and two thirds innings. Walked seven, struck out 49 with a 295 ERA. Jimenez is gonna face Marte with one out in the bases loaded in the top of the ninth inning. Here comes the 2-2 pitch. Jimenez looking for the sign. And here is the delivery. And a grounder toward first. The throw goes to second. The relay back to first. That is a 3-6-1 double play to end the game. So the Cubs finish off Arizona in a 7-3 contest, but not without some drama here in the top of the ninth inning. 
Cubs getting seven runs on eight hits with no errors. The Diamondbacks three runs on 12 hits with two errors. The Cubs, for their part today, Aaron Nola actually gets the player of the game. He went five innings of six-hit, two-run baseball with two walks and six strikeouts and allowed the one home run. Scubal gets the win out of the bullpen. He threw two scoreless innings in relief. And he improves to 5-4 and four on the season. Jimenez gets his third save as he got that double playground ball induced to end the game. Green suffers the loss. He drops to 7-9. and nine. He went five and a third innings of six-hit, seven-run baseball with four earned, two walks, and four strikeouts. I don't know how any of those runs were earned, but apparently that's the way the official score put it together. So, whatever. The Cubs improved to 64 and 36 as the Diamondbacks fall to 44 and 56. Thank you for watching Replacement Player Baseball.